This video is sponsored by Rider Justice Motorcycle Lawyers. Oh, I'm in paradise. What can I say? What can I say? Look at this. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right It's time to leave my campsite in the redwood forests of Northern California and get back on the highway. This is Sumag State Park, and I had a really nice time staying here. If you saw the last video, you know just how relaxing a night of motorcycle camping in a redwood forest can be. I always try to take the back roads when I can, and this road around Arcata Bay looks interesting. This is the Humboldt Bay Maritime Museum. It wasn't open when I was there, but there's a lot of cool things to look at right outside of the buildings. Now I'm crossing the bridge that separates Arcata Bay from the Pacific Ocean. I stopped in the small town of Lolita for a coffee break. My camping thermos is working out pretty well. I was looking at this big brick building on the way into town. It's, the kiosk there said that it was the Lolita Cheese Factory, opened in 1982. It looks like a much older building than that. I'm gonna get off the highway here at the Fernbridge Ferndale exit because I see another back road that heads out toward the coast. Highway 101 is beautiful but it is kind of a uh, the main route the main highway if I can take back roads I'm gonna try to do that at least while I have a little bit of time here looks like we're just coming into downtown right now nice looking little downtown shops and restaurants look at this dog hanging out in his owner's truck here two of them <laughs> hi buddies hi guys yeah charming little town some old Victorian buildings here. My kind of town, it's like an 1800s town. Now we're gonna head towards Petrolia. Suddenly the road gets a little more interesting. 
I saw a sign back there that said motorhomes and trailers not advised. That's always the kind of sign that I like to see because it means the road will be very narrow and twisting. Oh my, this is turning into a beautiful back road. It's two lanes going through the thick forest here. Everything is glossy and wet. Even the road, you can see patches of mist rising off the road as the water evaporates from the surface. And it's bumpy and potholed. A perfect paved adventure bike road. Boy, this road just goes on and on like this. Beautiful. Narrow through the forest. Lush green vegetation on both sides of the road. It's cool and dark in the forest, and then every now and then you come out into the sunshine for a bit. Like this little section right here. This is pretty bucolic pastoral landscape that we're riding through right now with old barns on the side of the road and wildflowers right at the edge. I'll bet you if you're a motorcyclist that lives in this area, you come out here and ride on this road quite a bit. And there's the ocean off to the right shrouded in mist it's down there somewhere look at this isn't this beautiful wow oh my we've entered into some kind of pastoral paradise here Woo -ha -ha. fun I just have to pull over here for a second and take in this amazing view. Holy cow. So I decided to take this back road heading out towards the ocean and boy, am I ever glad that I did. This is the Matoll Road up in Humboldt County and it's a scenic back roads journey that's taking me through the twisting, turning dark forests out in the, into these bright sunlit pastures. And off in the distance, through the clouds over there, you can see the Pacific Ocean, or actually you can't see it because it's covered by the clouds. But what a beautiful scene up here on this overlook, looking at the forested hills in the distance, the clouds coming in off of the ocean, an absolute gem of a road. What a great place to stop and take in the view of the scenery. Beautiful two-lane country road. Look at these curves. This is a rough road. Despite the fact that it's paved, it's really mangled got the right bike for it. I can see the ocean down there now and the waves breaking against the shoreline. Wow, spectacular. That's all I can say. This is really something else. We're going to be coming out to a, a point of land here right on the ocean. Look at that. Oh my, oh my. Oh, I'm in paradise. What can I say? What can I say? Look at this. Look at this beautiful road. Oh. Truly something else. Wow. Oh. I'm 
appreciate this, my friends. This is the second time I'm going down this hill just because I wanted to, to do it twice. Take in this grandeur. You come around this corner and there it is, the Pacific Ocean right there. You could just ride right off into it. I wonder if anybody has. Holy cow. Well, that was a real surprise and a delight, an unknown gem to me. But it just goes to show you that if you look on the map and see these interesting back roads, and you know how to read maps and you know what to look for. In this case, I was looking for a road that went a little bit closer out to the coast. And my goodness, I certainly found it. Now, a lot of the travelers going up and down the coast would just stick to Highway 101, which is the main highway and it's beautiful in its own right. These are the kind of gems you can find on the back roads. Wow, look at this. We are right on the edge of the ocean here. How cool is this? So amazing. And look at the road. It just goes right along the coast here. Beautiful, beautiful spot. It's windy out today. I'm getting blown around. That's why I'm still wearing my helmet so that you can hear this. Amazing. is definitely improved it's pretty smooth here just as beautiful We're back in the country hills now should be a little town up here not too far away where I I set a waypoint I'm gonna stop there and make some choices about which direction to head should also think about getting some supplies fairly soon for my evening cookout don't know what's on the menu yet you guys will find out when I do well, this is pretty cute. I've got to show you what's inside this little store here. I'm truly out in the back country here in Northern California. There just happens to be a little convenience store here and it's actually a pretty ma amazing. I think I've got everything that I need for tonight's cookout. But wait till you see who's behind the register. All right, you got me all going there. You running this business all by yourself today? Mm, yes. That's pretty I'm awesome. Are you having a good day? You work here full time? No. You probably got some school to do, huh? Yes. That's good. How old are you? Uh, 11. 11. Well, that's great. What a great little store here. You guys got everything I need for my camping and cooking tonight. There you go. Huh? Yes. Aww. Who's yeah. running the store today? He is. Steven. He's on the phone right now figuring out how to run my credit card. He's got me all ringed up. You get her figured out? <laughs> how cute was that? I stopped on the side of the road to have a little motorcycle picnic. This is another good reason to have a cooler like this one. This is also a good time to dry out my tent, which got pretty wet last night.
boy, that was nice to be able to sit there on the side of the road and have a little picnic, dry out my tent and my rain fly. Beautiful place to stop and enjoy the natural world. I've only gone 120 miles so far today, so not a high mileage day at all. Now I'm on a road heading down to Shelter Cove. I just turned right and it said it's 12 miles to Shelter Cove. And we're just now coming into Shelter Cove. General store open till 7.30. I like the sound of that. And there's a gas station here. Do not park until you have paid for your gas. Well, it looks like there's a little airport out here at Shelter Cove, right next to the Pacific Ocean. But they get to take off in the wind quite a bit. There's a brewery and a restaurant. Mario's Motel. Doesn't look like it's open anymore. Shelter Cove fishing. Some kind of a campground right here. There's a lighthouse. Picturesque little picnic area down here by the ocean. Lots of big houses right here with seaside views. Imagine walking out on your porch right here looking at the ocean. Okay I just made the turn to where we're headed and with any luck it'll go through. This is a single lane paved road in the mountains along the coast of Northern California. Evidence of the recent storms and some of the damage and mudslide that washed out part of the road came down the hill right here. Well, I got on a dirt road and it has been doing nothing but descending since I got onto it. Just down, down, down. This is pretty cool. This is like driving through a jungle. So many big trees and bushes and plants growing on the side of the road. And these big ferns just spilling over the side. It's really cool. And this road just keeps going down, down, down. There's some little traffic cones here because they fixed a section of the road. There were a lot of rains this year in California and it just uh, wiped out so many different roads along the coast. And this is one of the lesser traveled roads so they're just getting around to repairing this one. But so far so good. It's in pretty good condition. Just a little bit of loose gravel and it's going to be a steep hill climb coming back out of here. I'm sure I'll do okay. But look at this. How neat is this? This is a pretty steep hillside too. I didn't know I was that high up above the ocean. I had no idea, but I have just been going down, down, down the whole time on this dirt road. I feel like the road is just cut right into the side of the hill here. You can see how steep it is on the left. It's about that steep on the right too. I always wonder, am I gonna see anybody else out here in a place like this, on a road like this? You would not wanna take your, your trailer or your motor home down this road, uh-uh. Well, this isn't too bad. Look at this beautiful place here. Might have to turn around and go back to find the campground I was looking for. It says there's another campsite up ahead, the barn campsite. This is the kind of mountain road that I would like to ride anywhere but with the added benefit of having the ocean right off to my right. It's not every day I've ridden on a, a graded dirt mountain road like this with a big beautiful blue ocean just off of my shoulder. Okay, here's the barn campsite, look at this. Looks like there's somebody here. Well, I have found an absolutely picture perfect place to end the day. So this is actually a public campground of sorts. I'm at the end of the road here, and there's a sign saying that the road is impassable. And right over here, there's a caretaker's cabin. 
but they do have campsites here. Unfortunately, all of them require a good bit of walking. In other words, you have to park your vehicle up on top of the hill and hike up to a quarter mile to get your campsite. But the one that I got here is only about 100 feet from my motorcycle. It's just down the hill. And so I did have to schlep a little bit of gear up here, but I've got a picnic table and a big fire ring. And so they just got the road opened and not really anybody knows about that yet. So as fate would have it, I was one of the first people to come out here after the road was opened. And that's why the campsite is a little bit overgrown, but they had some hand tools and I gave it a good weed whacking to be able to pitch my tent up here. The campsite was $25. So it's a, a fee I'll gladly pay to be able to camp in such a beautiful location. So how would I rate this campsite? Well, in terms of scenic beauty, this campsite is definitely among the best. I've got this great view of the Pacific Ocean over here, and I'm up in a high meadow overlooking all of this splendor. The sun is going to be going down over here in about an hour. And it should be a pretty good sunset. I'm really looking forward to that. In terms of privacy, there is a cabin right over here. It's called The Barn, and they rent it out for $25 a night. And I would have been happy to pay that price to stay in the barn, but it's taken. There's a, a, a party in their pickup truck camper, and they're staying in the barn tonight. So I'm up on the hillside overlooking them. And there's one other motorcyclist down the way, and he hiked with his stuff a little ways away, so he's camping down there. But those are the only other people that are out here besides the caretakers over here. And water. We've got a view of the ocean right over here. And there's a faucet with water over that way as well. So if I had to tally up my campground score, I would give this place a 2 for the scenic beauty. A 2 for its legality. It's allowed to camp here. I would give it a one in terms of its privacy because there are some other people pretty close to me. Just just one party of two people. And I would give it a, a one for cost. It costs $25. And then water. You get a two because there's such a beautiful view of the ocean. Even though I can't necessarily walk right down to it, there is a water spigot over here as well. So what do you say? Maybe a seven? A seven or an eight for this, this campground here? Anyways, I'm just sitting up here on the hillside overlooking the ocean, getting ready for the main show to begin anytime. But now that I'm here, I'm going to kick back and have a cerveza, cook some dinner, and relax in the scenic beauty of this amazing place right on the California coastline. A wild and rugged place. Well, there's the fixings for tonight's dinner. Some chicken pasta with some olive oil, salt and pepper, a little fresh mozzarella, and some fresh tomatoes. And again, I'm gonna cook it inside of the thermos. We're gonna do some thermos cooking tonight so that we can conserve our fuel cartridge. I realized I could conserve my drinking water by using the water from my cooler to cook with. And since I'm gonna be boiling it for the pasta, I'm sure that everything will be sterilized. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What an absolutely perfect place to have dinner. It's so peaceful sitting in my campsite and watching the sun go down over the Pacific Ocean. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this motorcycle camping video. If you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.